Welcome to a video where I'm finally describing something positive about Roblox. Wait, we all know how bad Roblox is, which is why it has so much goddamn glitches, which is why I want to do a tier list on it. The only rules I'm doing in this tier list is I'm not including pay-to-win ones in the R15 glitches. And the other rule is I'm not including glitches I can't pull off by myself because I have a skill issue, obviously. And if I have a skill issue on that, that means I can't rank them accurately. So I'm gonna start the first glitch I could rank. Lang jump, or I nickname it, hold the window border glitch is very overpowered because usually normally you do 10 or 11 stars but thanks to lag you can jump higher and with on 15 it's even more broken because you could jump to 14 or 15 studs so this is good for r6 r15 and anthro so it's instantly s tier and the next glitch is actually for free. This glitch is more overpowered if you use anthro parts, which means this glitch is the only reason why they use anthro parts. And this glitch is also the reason why they have to disable emotes. And some people will question, wait a second, isn't this technically pay to win? Nope, you can literally get this emote for free. So forget about free Robux, you can literally just use this glitch to bypass any challenging parts you don't want to do. So if you wonder why people use Anthro and have these ugly avatars, this is why. Since R6 and R15 lag jumps are different, I'm going to rank them that way. The next glitch is the insanely high ping glitch. Or I nickname it, turn the internet off and then turn it on again. The kill bricks you've seen are no longer a threat anymore. If you look at the health right there, that is evidence that this glitch deserves an S tier. Because it flat out removes the kill brick threat for like at least 10 to 20 seconds. Because there's a limit how long you can turn the antenna off for a reason. And corn and clips deserve an S tier. Because it's the only glitch Roblox patched. That is how iconic it is. It is the only glitch Roblox patched due to how overpowered it is. I would show video proof, but the the glitch is patched and it is simple to do. So let me go back to glitches I can show video proof on. Next up is ladder flicks. They make ladders less boring. Instead of pressing one button, you can now press three buttons. Where you could get up the ladder quicker if you're skilled. So it's S tier to make these boring long ladder areas less boring. And it gets better, there's a thing called wall hops. Where there's two ways to do it. There is the automatic way that straight up makes it significantly easier. Or there is a manual way, where the manual way can actually help you do way more things than the automatic way. Like this is an example right there, where you could do more difficult things doing it the manual way. There is a third way called the mobile way, but you're literally blind doing that, so I have a skill issue and can't judge that way. The next one is lag bounce. It's not as good as lag jump, but I do find this fun at least. And of course the classic slashy dance 2 glitch. It's not as broken as the V-Pose glitch, but it's basically the, the way R6 can glitch through walls. Aside from Slashy Laugh. But at least these emotes can be used to glitches, which is more than what I could say about with Fortnite. Slashy Laugh is definitely a good emote. It's not as good as glitching through walls as Slashy Dance 2, but it is quicker. If the wall is small enough for Slashy Laugh to clip through. It can also be the mobile way to straight up gain height. Well, with, for 14 studs and stuff like that. Essentially, Slashy Laugh has multiple purposes. Where some I didn't record because skill issue. And climbing down one stud. Where thanks to the power of lag, you are able to get down an area where the collision is trying not to let you down. What more can I say? I'm speechless. And jumping the void glitch. I'm not that used to R15 glitches because the majority of them are pay to win, but I know Slashy Dance 2 has that glitch and I can do that consistently with Slashy Dance 2, so that's definitely A tier. The Body Drag glitch, it's decent for what it's going for, but it's not that broken. But once you know how to do a Body Drag, it is cool to do it. So I say B tier is accurate for it because it's not insanely broken compared to the other glitches. And the Fling glitch, it is fun to do. But again, not that broken. Because from what I know in this glitch, I only use it for two things, which is traveling through a distance, or flinging myself into the wall, and traveling to point A to point B, like that. 
And there is an other thing called a wedge fling where you have to be in a specific angle to do it. Flings are definitely decent. I generally feel like I'm repeating myself with these glitches. I mean, it can help you glitch through walls, but Slashy Dance 2 and the V pose is generally better. Even Slashy Laugh is better to clip through walls. Since I mentioned glitches, what if I told you the gameplay is repeating itself because it's a glitch? And now we got the lag truss. This is ranked B tier for one reason. The game don't want you to ledge grab right there, so they're giving you something luck based for some reason. While yes, some lag glitches in PC you can do consistently, this one you can't. It is pure luck. The only reason why I'm not ranking it this low is the percent chance gaining is around 50 to 75% chance based on my experience. And it's easy to do. That is about it. And a fling glitch with one difference. You have to do it in like a specific angle. That is the only difference. And then we got this glitch I don't even know the name of. I guess I could nickname this a mobile version of the lag bounce, which is nice. So I'm probably going to put an A tier because, you know, mobile users can do it, which means more people can do that glitch. Launches is A tier because you can do two things with them. One, you could go fast on them depending on the lodge. Two, sometimes you're forced to go slow on it, which is boring. Three, you can literally rise on top of the lodge. The only issue I have with lodges is that it can be too slow. And that's about it. And we got the most easiest glitch to do in this entire video. Okay, I guess. Well, I guess it's being tier because it's the most easiest glitch to do in the entire game. And it was back to more broken glitches, like that one. I call this a freeze time glitch. Essentially, if you hold the border, the white border in PC, you will float on top. And when you're floating on top, it will ignore collision and everything. And if anyone questions that, wait a second, this is just normal basic jumps. I'm literally doing this in glitch obbies. And what is a glitch that's similar with that UI right there that I showed the video proof on? Exactly, a glitch. I've been literally showing video proof how to even do these glitches. I guess I can mention this glitch that I'm mixed about. Well, yes, a slushy left speed glitch can make this easier. Or combining the lag jump to straight up get to 30 studs. The glitch is just miserable to do. Anything beyond the 12.5 stud jump is pure luck based if they patch the speed glitch. This glitch requires you to know a no jump fling glitch to straight up double jump to have enough height to travel that distance. Because every single time I see these 13 stud jumps, I just wish for the glitch I'll be saying, please, Please give me a free skip. I don't want to do these luck-based jumps. I'm not saying it's bad yet, because it could possibly be me having a skill issue. But the ledge gram system in this game is not good at all. Then you have to rely on lag, hoping you could do a 13 stud jump. There may be a way to do it consistently on PC, but in mobile, it's absolutely miserable. And here's a glitch, which is the only bad one out of the entirety of this video. And I don't know why anyone would do this glitch. Walking without animation. It is slow. It is boring. Even if you know how to do it, it is boring. It wastes your time. It is the only glitch mobile has an advantage on. As the gameplay you see right now, that is sped up due to how boring it is. There is some glitch obbies I've seen where they literally allow you to bypass it. I would say you'll be a better idea due to that kill brick is right that why not I just turn the incident on for 10 seconds, get through there which is quicker, and then turn the incident back on so I can get to the checkpoint area and voila! Sounds better than moving as slow as possible where essentially no animation plays because i did rank this in s tier for a reason it is generally a useless glitch and debatably the worst one out of roblox anyways i'm done with the tier list there i did not mention some roblox glitches here because i think they're just too irrelevant such as the frog jump it requires a second player to do it good luck expecting the second player to you know trust every word you say or even know how to do the glitch i mean the roblox community is terrible for a reason the slash e cheer glitch is only useful for no jump obbies and that is about it but anyways here's my tier list and roblox glitches which is essentially the only good thing Roblox offers. No wonder why I wasn't making videos. I was essentially anti-social. Since I was playing a game that is known to have a god-awful community. Anyways, I'm feeling out the video. Sorry for making you wait this long just to make this.